So hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at our Linksys E1200. In our last video we managed to install OpenWRT onto it. In this one we're going to try DDWRT, specifically the mini build, pretty much because I only think that's the one that's going to fit on it. This is how we do it. So we have found ourselves on the DDWRT wiki. We're looking at the E1200 with some nice instructions here. Now what's important about DDWRT is they usually have confirmed builds which work. So if we look at number five here, it says upload the known good initial flash. So we're just gonna click that one and save it. So that's gonna be our initial firmware. But because we like up-to-date stuff and that one's from 2013, if we go to their download directory, we can see a more up-to-date version here of the mini build. So we're gonna download that one as well. So let's open a new tab and browse to 192.168.1.1, the default IP of the router, admin admin to log in, over to administration at the top, just below it on firmware upgrade, click browse to select our firmware, and we're gonna choose this one as that's the older initial flash. So I'm gonna hit start upgrade and give the video a fast forward. Please select file to upgrade. I have. Upgrade is successful, looks promising. Right, last time I hit continue on this, it failed, but I'm gonna hit continue anyway and see what happens. All right, so I did wait three or four minutes there and the page has timed out. Now, if we go back to our instructions, it does say on step six, wait five minutes to assure flash integrity and then power cycle the E1200. And I'm gonna do that because if we do an IP config, type it properly, we have not got an address there and I cannot release renew either. There's nothing there, so we're just going to give the router a power cycle. So I've waited my two minutes, as it says in step seven, and we still... Oh, we have got an IP address. I was looking at the warning triangle in the bottom of, in Windows there, but we have got an IP address. So let's just open a new window. There it is. Now, it does say to do a hard reset, so I'm gonna do that now, off camera. So we are back up and running with our DDWRT loaded on. I did do the hard reset. I then unplugged the power and waited for 10 seconds. Then plugged the power and waited for the router to boot back up. It's then presented me with a DDWRT login page. I just gave it a username and a password. Here we are now. So we are running the old firmware. If we look at the top, it's dated 2013. So let's go to administration and firmware upgrade. We're going to reset all the variables to default. Let's hit browse and pick our newer firmware. I'm going to hit upgrade and give this video a fast forward. So straight after you saw the unable to connect, I then unplug the power Wait 10 seconds, plug back in. The router should be booted up now, so let's just give it a refresh. There we are, let's give it a username of root, and a password, password, this already looks promising. Very weak password, don't use that. Change password. And we can see in the top up here, we're running the latest um, in 2019. So in our next video, we're going to take a look at Fresh Tomato. Thank you very much for watching this one, and I will see you in the next video.